Hello, my keto friends. It's an absolutely gorgeous fall day out there. The sun is shining, the air is crisp and cool. It's the kind of day that starts making your thoughts turn to the holidays. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make my newest favorite fall dessert recipe. Keto pecan pie for two. Now, I don't know about you, but I have always loved pecan pie. Even as a kid, I loved the gooey center and the rich nuts and the flaky crust. And I actually have a really great keto pecan pie recipe on the blog. It's full size, it has a crust, and it serves about 10 people. But today I'm gonna to show you a super easy way to get all that same flavor into one small package with no leftovers and no crust. Now this recipe is so easy and so quick to put together that the first thing I want you to do is go turn on your oven. In the time that it preheats, the filling will be ready to go. So get that oven turned on to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're going to take a third cup of pecans. Now, I like to take a few away and save them for the top of this little pie so it looks pretty and decorative. The rest I'm gonna chop nice and finely. Now we're gonna set our chopped pecans aside and get working on the rest of the filling. Set your pot over low heat and you're gonna add three tablespoons of butter. Next, we're gonna add two different sweeteners. Here I have one and a half tablespoons of the Swerve Brown and that gives it the true pecan pie flavor. I also like to add a tablespoon and a half of mocha sweet because it helps keep the filling softer and gooier. We're gonna whisk everything together as it melts to help dissolve the sweeteners. Once everything is nicely melted and smooth, you just wanna remove it from the heat. You definitely don't want it to get too hot. So I have one large egg here. I'm gonna just crack that right in and whisk it together. And I'm also gonna add a quarter teaspoon of caramel extract. That just gives it even more gooey pecan pie flavor, but you could also use vanilla extract. So I'm just gonna take my chopped pecans and add them right into the mixture, all the little bits. And I'm gonna pour it into a ramekin. Now, I'm gonna do the whole batch in one ramekin, but you could do it in two little ramekins and each person could have their own if you like. So you can just pour it all right in there. Now I'm gonna take the pecan halves I reserved and I'm just gonna decoratively put them on top. And that's it, now my pecan pie is ready for the oven. I recommend putting it on a cookie sheet to get it in and out without spilling. Your little mini pecan pie will only take about 25 minutes to bake. I recommend watching it carefully and when the edges are set but the center's still a little gooey, that's when you wanna take it out. So I've taken my keto pecan pie for two out of the oven. It smells amazing. And you can see here that it is now firm around the sides, but still a little bit gooey and soft in the center. And that means it's perfect. I will tell you that it is absolutely delicious with some lightly sweetened whipped cream or some keto vanilla ice cream. It takes it over the top. For this easy keto Thanksgiving recipe and so many more, check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com.